okay, picture this. You're regularly building data models for your team, but you are not the only one. There's tons of data pipelines going around your organizations, you know, integrations, models, dashboards, orchestrations, you know it. But how do you know what's actually happening? Who has an overview of these data pipelines and what happens when one of them breaks? Hello there and welcome to a quick but super important episode of our Product Deep Dive. I'm your host Johannes, Product Growth Manager here at Y42 and today I'm super excited to share with you a beloved feature that solves all of your data traceability issues. I'm talking about the data lineage function. Before we get started, if you're new to this series or to Y42, we've built a data analytics platform that enables everyone to work with their data effectively and collaboratively. All of that in one single place. Our software sits on top of your data warehouse and it allows you to integrate, model, visualize, as well as orchestrate and export your data. Basically, manage your entire workflow end to end. Now about the data lineage. This function grants users a bird's eye view on everything that is happening inside your data pipelines and Y42. The keyword here is full observability. This way you can slice and dice relationships and trace back the origin of every data table within your data warehouse. The data lineage function serves as a collaborative workspace where users can document each source, table, column, widget, etc. And, you know, share this information with each other. But enough of the theory. Let me show what it looks like. So let's jump right into our data lineage and you'll see that we land on a similar canvas to the one that we've already seen in the modeling layer. And that unlocks powerful features in the canvas sidebar. For example, we can easily annotate our data pipelines with sticky notes. Fundamentally, this provides the track record or ground truth of everything that's going on inside Y42. And we know it can get really messy with a lot of different data sources, models and exports. So what's super cool here is that you can actually, you know, highlight the different connections between, let's say, integrations, models and exports, basically any of the nodes on this canvas that belong to one specific data pipeline. So this really helps you see where the data is coming from and allows you to easily trace back any potential errors and confusions. Another really powerful feature here is the ability to see, for example, the underlying tables of an integration. This then allows you to really understand this table a little bit better. You can see, for example, when it was last imported, but also start exploring the data with the data preview. And finally, imagine you come here to debug one of your data pipelines after you've seen that a model, for example, hasn't been updated. Then you just go on filter, filter for the invalid jobs. But as you can see in this case, we don't have any because all of these were successful. But this would allow you to easily identify broken data pipelines. Isn't it amazing how you can keep a complete overview of your entire data pipelines? Now you can finally forget about untraceable bugs or confusing data origins and movements. With the data lineage, you can always stay on top of what's happening to your data and quickly see if there are any errors that need to be fixed. I really hope this quick introduction to this super powerful function has left you intrigued to learn more about Y42. If that's the case, please contact our data experts. They'd be super excited to tell you more about how Y42 could be a great fit for your use case. That's it from my side today. Now that you know how to keep track of your data pipelines, would you like to learn how to automate them? Get ready to hear all about data orchestration in the next episode of our Product Deep Dive. Cheers.